y'all welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is Samantha Leanne and I talk about books the day is here the day is here where we're about to talk about the most disappointing books that I read in 2019 so once again unfortunately I have to do a disclaimer I have to say that these were books that I didn't personally like it is not an attack on you if you like them it is not an attack on the author it's not an attack on any of those things they just didn't work for me and there is nothing wrong with that it's okay it's fine everything is fine I'm just gonna tell you why they didn't work for me so now I will say I didn't rate any of these beneath two stars there is no DNS on this list none of those things it's just they like really fell flat for me I'm not gonna say that they're necessarily like the worst books of all time there's nothing like crazy ranty in any of these either it's not gonna be like 2018 where like I ranted a good bit um, they just you know like everything fell flat I just didn't love it so let's just go ahead and jump right into it all right first book that we're gonna talk about is the shining girls there were a lot of things about this book that did not work for me um, so basically this is about a guy who um, murders women and there's like this element of this time travel house and I'm gonna give you like the worst plot synopsis of life with this book because that's how little sense it made so this guy he murders these women and he uses this time travel house to like go back in time and like give them things and then he's gonna, like, gonna kill them later it's very weird and then one day one of the girls that was supposed to die that he was supposed to kill she didn't actually die and then like she starts figuring shit out and things go from there. I just want to express how little sense this made and it's a concept that could have been really cool, but like you have a time travel house. You have a time travel house and you spent like three and a half seconds talking about it, honestly. How cool would it have been to like make that a central plot of the book? But no, you wanted to talk about Harper Curtis going around and like jerking off to the fact that he murdered these women you would rather talk about that than the time travel house awesome awesome job it just yeah there were a lot of things about this that just didn't make sense i didn't like it i didn't like the characters i didn't i didn't really like much about it if we're being honest wow now that i'm talking about it i'm like oh yeah i really did not like this book it wasn't that it was just mad i just i didn't like it however i will say this I read this book first and I didn't love it and then I read Broken Monsters by the same author and that one was actually pretty okay. Alright so here's a book that I'm not 100% sure why I read. Cross Her Heart by Sarah Penborough. So after the atrocity that was behind her eyes by the same author, I was still in possession of this book and I was like you know what, I own it, I may as well read it. This is in my unhaul pile, I just haven't, it's, it's a giant pile that I have to get rid of. But, um, yes, it's in my unhaul pile. It's the only reason I just haven't gotten rid of it. It's the only reason it's in this video right now because I did not like this book. So many things about it were predictable. Like, you knew from the get-go, like, what was fixing to happen, right? Like, you knew. You have a mom and she has a young daughter and, like, mom is, like, very alone, right? She doesn't really date. She doesn't get involved with people. Like, she's not on the internet. Like, none of those things, right? And her daughter is like, you have to stop sheltering me. You know, I'm gonna have sex when I want. And so she ends up pregnant and ends up this whole thing, right? I don't really think that that's a spoiler. No, it's not a spoiler. It was like, as that was leading up to happening, it was like, she's gonna end up pregnant. She's gonna end up pregnant. You like, you knew like literally chapters before this was announced that it was gonna happen. And I just hated that. You know, it's a story about like betrayal and I just didn't like anything about this book. It wasn't as atrocious as Behind Her Eyes. It was just, I found it to be like very pre repetitive, very predictable. I just, I was not impressed. I will probably never read anything else by Sarah Pinbro ever, so. Next, I am Providence. I'm the first to admit that I've never read any Lovecraft and this is Lovecraftian and maybe that's why I didn't like it. I'm not familiar with the source material. <sighs> first of all, let's talk about how absolutely hateable the main character in this was and I, I'm very positive that that was supposed to be the point, but it was so infuriating that I couldn't get past him. Like he was such a piece of fucking shit. Not only that, everybody in this book was like absolutely insufferable everyone was and once again i'm almost positive that that was i think that this was like almost satire you know about like lovecraft and his fans and stuff but i just hated everything about it again i, I don't have any like familiarity with lovecraft i know like certain things about him like what the name of his cat was and they say that like a million times in this book and i'm like why we all know like you had to say it once 
Like, why do you need to keep talking about it? It was just, it was gross. I didn't enjoy it. I don't know. Maybe if you like Lovecraftian things, you'll like this, but I did not at all. So much so that this is also a book I'm getting rid of and will likely never read anything else by this author. Next, I'm gonna talk about Beneath the Scarlet Sky. And this is a book that I saw advertised on Amazon and everybody was saying, oh my God, it's so good. And I had read The Nightingale, which is also like World War II fiction. And I loved that book, absolutely loved it. And then everybody, like this had like really positive reviews and all that good stuff. And so I was like, okay, I also read it for a book club. We did a live show on it. None of us liked it. <laughs> this one actually takes place in Italy and it's based on a true story. And there was such a capacity for them to have like written this really amazing story about this really amazing person that did wonderful things for people that saved a lot of lives and they didn't do that. Simply put, they didn't do that. They focused on things that I felt like were like very secondary and as such it just wasn't compelling in any way like never once was i heavily invested in the characters or like really what was going on i didn't feel any tension about any of the things that were happening and i just i don't know if that had to do with the writing because the story itself like i said could have been really good i don't i'm not 100 percent sure why there was like such that disconnect there but it just did not work for me you know having loved the historical fiction genre for a long time like i was just very deeply disappointed in that it takes place in italy i'm pretty sure and when we talk about world war ii you know most of that takes place in either the uk or germany or like russia right i don't really see a lot in italy and so i was really excited to have that setting and to see what that looked like and i was very disappointed so Next, we're going to talk about The Fury by John Ferris. This is supposed to be a classic. America's premier novelist of horror. No one does it better, Stephen King says. I didn't care about shit that was happening in this book at any time. At no time did I care about anything that happened. You know, this is a classic horror that just did not work for me. I'm not going to talk about the plot because, again, like, I just don't care enough to talk about the plot. You know, the main thing is about two people that have kind of, like, this, like, weirdly psychic connection. Like, psychic connection that has, like, this, this ability to, like, be very dangerous. And I, like I said, I just didn't care about anybody in this book. I didn't care about anything that was happening. I think it was the writing style. I'm pretty sure that's what I didn't like. But regardless, I didn't like it and I'm not keeping it, so... Next, we're going to talk about Road Work by Stephen King, and I just did not care for this book at all. I've come to the conclusion that I don't really care for most of the Bachman books, with the exception of the ones that I've read so far, with the exception of The Long Walk. I really like The Long Walk, but um, Road Work, I did not enjoy. It's about a guy who, uh, he's lost his daughter. It was very traumatic for him and his wife, or son, daughter or son, lost her kid. It was a very traumatic thing and now he is about to lose his house and everything because they're building a highway through this area and he's like one of the last holdouts not selling his house and and that kind of thing and I just did not care <laughs> have you noticed that the, the books that I tend not to like are the books that could not elicit like a emotional response in me in in some way or another that is something that is so incredibly important to me whenever I'm reading a book and this book just didn't do that like I didn't like I could see where the main character was supposed to be like sympathetic for various reasons but like I just wasn't feeling it didn't didn't care it was a very unfortunate I struggled my way through the running man too it didn't make the list but I struggled my way through that um, and I think I only have like one or two Bachman books left and I'm gonna like howl a fucking Luya whenever I don't have to read any more of those. I know I've got some shit books ahead of me in my King Chronicles. I have currently, I'm in the middle of Christine right now as of filming this. So, um, yes, and those are returning. I have one that's filmed. I just have to edit it and get it up. So, um, those are coming back, I promise. And the very last book that I'm going to talk about is Snowbound by Blake Crouch. I just talked about in my best of video that I really like Blake Crouch. I didn't like this book <sighs> for a lot of reasons. I think it was in my best of horror and thriller where I discussed how sometimes you can read a book and you can tell that it was originally like written as a screenplay 
that's what this felt like. It felt like it could be like a movie script or screenplay. So the main story behind this is a dude and his young daughter, his wife disappears. She is on her way home, she gets flat tires, she disappears. And all of a sudden the police like start looking at him and he's like, fuck you guys, I'm gonna assume a new identity and I'm gonna go out with my daughter and we're gonna live our lives wherever this is. I am not 100% sure why you would make a decision like that, but oh fucking K. Like every decision that these people made in this book, I'm like, they wouldn't do that. Nobody would do that. Please stop. No. Stop, please, no. Spoiler, it's not really a spoiler. Out of court, it's a story about human trafficking. It's like taken in the snow, okay? That's literally what it is, taken in the snow. And I just like, I wasn't about it. I wasn't about it. I've, I Maybe it's just because I've read this story. I know this story a million times, but I wasn't compelling. I didn't like the characters. None of it was believable. The part about human trafficking is fully believable. But then there are other things where I was like, nobody's gonna do that. Stop. I wasn't impressed. The good thing is, is this is one of like, this was published like far earlier than most of the other books that I like from him. So at least it's, he's not like regressing. It's like a bad, bad writer. So that's it. Those are the books that I didn't really like. That list is a lot shorter because I tend to read the things that I know that I'm gonna like. And also I'm not gonna like go on these like super long rants about stuff. I just didn't care about it, any of those books enough to like really rant about them. So there's that, but yeah. Um, so those are the books that I did not enjoy that I read in 2019. How did you feel about them? Did you like them? Did you hate them? Remember to be respectful. Please also remember to keep it spoiler free for people who haven't read those books. Um, if you want to have a civil discussion with me, you can get at me at Twitter, Goodreads, or Instagram. All those links can be found in the down bar below. If this is your first time here, hi, hello. Um, you can click thumbs up, you can click subscribe if you haven't already. You can also click the little bell doodad at the bottom so you can be notified of any videos that I upload. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.